What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Restoration with Vic. Today we got these trash Bordeaux Jordan 12s. I'm always on eBay looking for steals and unicorns. When I was browsing, these got freshly listed for only $45. I quickly hit that buy now. The average person might be ready to throw these in the trash, but Mr. Almighty sees a lot of potential. The best part about it is, it's gonna require little work. So, let's get started. First things first, we're gonna put this to the side for before and after purposes. For this cleaning, we're gonna be using our Rejuvenator Essential Shoe Cleaning Kit. We're not gonna be putting the shoe in the washing machine, it just doesn't need it. We're gonna take off our shoelaces and insole first. Got the laces off. Underneath the laces, the tongue is super crunchy hard. Same thing with the toe box. Something was spilled on the suede. I'm hoping we can bring it back to life. Now before we start cleaning the shoe using solution and our brushes, there's one thing we gotta do. Using our compressor, we're gonna blow off all the dust and grime that may be sitting on the surface of the shoe. Now let's continue the process. Let's grab our shoe tree, adjust it to size, and insert it inside the shoe. This is gonna help us reshape the sneaker once the cleaning is all done. Now let's grab our four ounce bottle of solution and squirt two squirts inside our bowl of water. The first brush we're gonna get started with is our soft bristle brush. We're gonna use this brush to take care of the delicate uppers and the insides. All right guys, there's a lot of bleeding going on in the suede. I'm not gonna overdo it. We did enough to get the stains off. Now we're gonna pat it down dry and move on to the insides before we move on to the next brush. Good to go with the uppers for now. Keep in mind, if you guys are cleaning the shoe at home, there will be a lot of bleeding going on from the suede. Just be very careful. Now we're gonna move on to our next brush, our medium bristle. We're gonna use this brush for the midsole. Now we're on to the last brush, the stiff bristle. The soles on the Jordan 12s is one of the trickiest to clean because of the texture of the sole. We're gonna do our best using the stiff bristle brush. We're just gonna have to apply a lot of pressure. All done with the cleaning on the shoe. This cleaning was kind of a mess, dealing with the dye from the uppers and how dirty the sole was, but the shoe looks great. One thing we're gonna do before we let the shoe dry, we're gonna grab the compressor, Blow all the sway just to get any surface water off the shoe, just so it could dry more evenly. Shoe's good to go. Now the last step we gotta do is clean up our insole and shoelace. We'll start off with the soft bristle brush for the insole, and for the lace, we'll just put in our leftover solution. The shoe is already drying. Before we let these dry, we're gonna go to the sink so we can rinse them. We're back. We got the shoe fully dried and clean. The shoe looks great. The suede right now is pretty stiff. We gotta reset the nap on the suede, but we'll take care of that later. Our next step is to remove the yellowing throughout the entire sole. For this, we'll be using some Rejuvenator Store Revive. We're gonna start off with one side and then we're gonna put it inside the Vic 2000. back once again, we got the shoe out of the Vic 2000. It sat in there for a good solid day on each side. We got it back to its original white color. Now, there's still some Rejuvenator Sora vibe throughout the entire sole, so we're gonna grab a Rejuvenator wipe and wipe it all off. We're all done with the soles, now we're back onto the uppers. Like I mentioned, after the cleaning, the suede gets really hard and stiff. That's normal when you clean suede, but we gotta bring back the original texture. So for this, we'll be using our medium bristle brush and our brass bristle. 
The medium bristle should do the trick, but if it doesn't, we'll move on to the brass bristle. The way it feels a lot better, we got it back to its original buttery texture. Now we did pull a lot of color during the cleaning process, but that's okay, we'll bring it right back with some inko later on in this video. Right now there's a couple details we gotta take care of. There's a lot of loose threads all around the sneaker, and on the sock liner, there's a lot of lint. We're gonna shave all that stuff off. Uppers are all done. All we gotta do left is spray some minko, but we'll come back to that later. Our next focus is the midsoles. As you can see, there's a lot of scuffs going on on both sides. We gotta repaint it. But before we do that, there is some creasing. We're gonna hit it with the heat gun to remove it. Just by looking at some of these colors, for example, this collector edition maroon, it's pretty close to the original tone. It's not perfect, but it's a good start. So we're gonna grab an empty jar, mix a little bit of this paint, and go from there. We'll also probably add a little bit of white to brighten up the color, and then we'll see where we're at. Got the perfect color match. I ended up using purple, raspberry, white, magenta, burgundy, and maroon with a little bit of dollar to take down the shine. It wasn't too hard, it only took me a few minutes. Now before we start painting, we're gonna grab some 400 grit sandpaper and sand down this area before we start painting. All done with the paint job, the color match was on point. I'm not gonna be spraying any finisher because Angela's products already come pre-mixed with the finisher. Now the last step we gotta do is bring back the color on the suede. For this, we'll be using some Rejuvenator Mink Oil and our Rejuvenator Horsehair Brush. We're gonna be reapplying until we get the desired results. All right, everybody, that is gonna bring us to an end on this restoration of these Bordeaux Jordan 12s. This was a smooth restoration. We started off by giving the shoe a proper deep clean using our Rejuvenator Essential Shoe Cleaning Kit. Originally, the suede was covered in grime and dirt and it was really crunchy. After the deep clean, we got it back to its original soft texture, brought the color back using some Rejuvenator Mink Oil. After that, we worked on the midsoles, we got rid of the small crease and gave it a fresh repaint. And lastly, we put the shoe inside the Vic 2000 with some Rejuvenator Sore Revive to bring back the original white color throughout the entire sole. You can find all the products at Rejuvenator.com. Use my promo code down below to save some money. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys.